This game of Arch Enemy is brought to you by Diluvian Primordial. Diluvian Primordial. Now it is the best Primordial. Welcome to a game of Commander Arch Enemy, featuring Kyle as the Arch Enemy, playing his Corona False God deck, Rob playing his Nimbus at the Firemind deck, Ronnie playing his Azazon Tamar deck, and myself playing my Numat the Devastator deck. Kyle starts with an opening hand of Vampiric Tutor, Steam Vents, Prophet of Crucifix, Temple Garden, Temple of Discovery, Command Tower, and Godly Shrine. Rob keeps an opening hand of a Force of Will, Shandra Firebrand, Walk the Eons, Haldemar Depths, Island, Cephalid Coliseum, and Is It Boilerworks. I keep an opening hand of Return to Dust, Wayfarer's Bobble, Twin Cast, Concentrate, Mountain, Azorius Chancery, and Boros Garrison. Ronnie keeps an opening hand of a Doubling Season, Goblin Bombardment, Ogre Battle Driver, Land Tax, Rugged Prairie, Forest, and Wooded Bastion. Kyle starts the game by scheming into every last vested shell rot. Not doing too much at the moment. Kyle plays Command Tower and passes. Rob plays Halimar Depths and rearranges the top two cards of his library. I play Mountain and cast Wayfarer's Bobble. Ronnie plays Forest. At the end of his turn, Kyle casts Vampiric Tutor, paying two life and putting a card on top of his library. At the beginning of his turn, Kyle schemes into Introductions are in order. Not wanting to lose the card he just tutored for, Kyle chooses to put Prophet of Crucifix from his hand onto the battlefield. Kyle plays Temple Garden and casts Soul Ring. I play Sacred Foundry untapped, paying 2 life. Ronnie plays Wooded Bastion and casts Exploration and Land Tax. Rob plays Is It Boilerworks, bouncing Halimar Depths. Kyle schemes Every Hope Shall Vanish, discarding a Force of Will from Rob's hand, Doubling Season from Ronnie's, and Gilded Drake from mine. I activate Wayfarer's Bobble, putting Island onto the battlefield. Kyle casts Temp with Discovery and finds Breeding Pool, putting it onto the battlefield. Kyle plays Godly Shrine, tapped, and passes. At the beginning of his upkeep, Ronnie searches his library for three basic lands with land tax. Rob replays Halimar Depths and casts Scroll Rack. I play Azorius Chancery, Bouncing Mountain. Ronnie plays Mountain and Rugged Prairie. Ronnie casts Goblin Bombardment. At the beginning of his turn, Kyle schemes into Dance, Pathetic Marionette, milling us until we reveal creatures. Rob reveals Tandem Lookout, I reveal Trinket Mage, and Ronnie reveals Eternal Witness from the top of his library, which Kyle chooses returning then Park Tutor back to his hand. Kyle plays Flagstones of Troy Care and attacks Ronnie for two with Prophet of Crucifix. Ronnie land taxes during his upkeep and finds one of each of his basic lands. Rob plays Shandra at the Firebrand and pings Eternal Witness for one, killing it. I play Mountain and Ronnie plays Forest and Plains. Ronnie casts Ogre Battle Driver. Kyle Vampiric Tutors at the end of the turn, paying 2 life. At the beginning of his turn, Kyle schemes into Realms Befitting My Majesty, which searches up 2 lands and shuffles away any cards you may have tutored for and put on top of your library. Kyle plays Steam Vince, Tabs, and Passes. Ronnie Land Taxes finds 3 lands and then draws another land during his draw phase, which prompts Ronnie to want to cast Wheel of Fortune. Not wanting to lose an extra turn spell, Rob minuses Chandra and casts Temporal Manipulation, copying it. I twin cast the Temporal Manipulation in response, but in response, Kyle flashes in Diluvian Primordial, casting the counter spell in my graveyard, countering one of Rob's extra turn spells, the Force of Will in Rob's graveyard, countering the other, and Beast Within from Ronnie's, killing Ronnie's Ogre Battle Driver giving Ronnie a beast. Ronnie plays his Azon. At the beginning of his turn, Kyle schemes into Embrace My Diabolical Vision, giving him 7 new cards and each of us 4. 
In response, I returned to dust Kyle's soul ring, exiling it. Kyle Vampire tutors again during his upkeep, paying 2 life and again putting Maelstrom Wander on top of his library. Kyle plays Forest and casts Garrick Wildspeaker, plussing it to untap 2 lands. Kyle casts Urbrask the Hidden and then attacks Ronnie with 3 creatures, forgetting that Ronnie totally has creatures. Ronnie blocks the Prophet with his Beast, killing the Prophet, and Urbrask with his Zazon. Ronnie sacks his commander and deals 1 damage to Garrick. Ronnie takes 5 damage from the Primordial. Ronnie land taxes during his upkeep and makes a mess of Sand Warrior tokens from the Hazazon trigger. I cast Consecrated Sphinx. Rob plays Volcanic Island and Neg 2 Chandra. Rob casts Time Warp, targeting himself with 1 and Ronnie with the copy. Ronnie plays Forest Plains. Ronnie Adela tutors for Dublin Season and casts it. On their next turn, Rob casts Mana Vault and Rouserek, and Ronnie casts Beastmaster's Ascension. Rob untaps one of his lands and casts Temporal Manipulation. Ronnie casts Elspeth, Sun's Champion, and Neg Sevens it to give Ronnie an emblem, pumping all of his creatures. Ronnie attacks with 8 creatures, putting 16 counters on Beastmaster's Ascension, activating it making his creatures 8-8s. Kyle takes 64 damage. On his next draw phase, Rob Miracles reforges the soul, drawing everyone new grips. Rob plays Mountain and gambles. Kyle concedes in response, and in response to Kyle conceding, Ronnie sacks 8 creatures and deals Kyle 8 damage. Then Ronnie neg twos Ralzarek in response to deal Kyle another 3 damage, finishing him off, losing the game for the arch enemy. Just shoot him! What's he at? He's, he's at, at 10. 10. He's at 10. Two, two, three. You need to deal 2 damage to him. Marlo, come on. We'll play another Let's game. Let's do it. I'll scramble to gamble. Scramble to gamble! <laughs> <Scramble. laughs> Alright, we'll just say we did that. Okay, I'm gonna play another game. Alright, 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 I'm gonna play another game